Hey my friends, we are in Millersburg, Ohio at the Save and Serve Thrift Shop. This is one of my favorite thrift stores and I am challenging myself today to find a wooden item. So we're gonna do that today and I hope I find some other goodies as well. I will share my haul with you throughout the video as well as styling the pieces into my home decor. So let me know what would have been your wooden item as well that you see while I'm thrifting and we're gonna have a lot of fun today. Right off the bat here, right by the carts, I'm noticing this wooden item right here, this bench. And it does say it is $175. Now I will say that on some of their pieces, the prices can get pretty high, but they also have a lot of pieces that are really reasonably priced as well. Got a little bit of a glare right there from the sun. I'm sorry for that. Look at this picture back here. Isn't that really unique and different? that picture in there and it says that is $15 on that one right there go ahead and put that back I kind of have it sitting back here on the stand right here Ooh, what's this $20 oh how pretty oh and it's got a mirror right there what a beautiful box very nice a lot of pretty pretty pieces back here today this guy right here is really nice $25 on the price I'm not sure though if it is actually vintage I think it's just maybe made to look old because of how everything looks here on the handle still really nice though and pretty and they kind of have everything framed out in this old wooden frame right here that they have on the table or window it actually has glass in it actually I don't know if that has a price on it though I think oh yeah window pane don't break it Missy $25 on that oh, sorry stuff going on out here outside hopefully everything is okay thing here that's neat set pretty perfume bottles on or to use as a mirror I want to go ahead and take this time to do our commenter shout out today for this video and it goes to Holly Harbison. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Love this video. I really like that you show how you style things. New subby. Thank you so much, Holly. I'm so happy to have you here and happy to have all of you here. I really appreciate each and every one of you more than you know. Oh yeah, looks to be in pretty good shape. It's got some unique detailing on it, doesn't it? I wonder what the price is on it though. I wonder if it's underneath here. Yep. Ooh. Let's see. Oak dresser, 60 bucks. That's not too bad. Pretty oil lamp right here on top of it. I almost missed it looking at the dresser. And they have $20 on that. I do love oil lamps, but I have been able to find them for a lot cheaper than that. So we'll go ahead and leave that one here today. This teapot here looks pretty interesting. $15 says it has some chips. Wonder what it says here on the bottom. L Grave, a division of Wood and Sons England, genuine ironstone. It's got that pretty blue on it. Blue must be the color. Maybe it's the color for summer because of the 4th of July several cups hanging there and then I thought this little stand here was cute not crazy about the color or the handle here but oh it doesn't really shut all that great or is that how it's supposed to be no I think it should shut right that is $15 remember I'm looking for that wood item so <laughs> see if I can find me something today let's see this basket is 35 pretty table setting right here and a big set of silverware right here nice and heavy 46 pieces 13 spoons 11 forks 12 knives oh 13 serving spoons nine spoons one serving fork 46 pieces that's nice and pretty and heavy. wonder how much that is. 
Okay, that is $20. Oh my goodness. Is that the chicken that I just recently got that Elijah broke? Remember I told you in my last video, Elijah accidentally broke it? Is this the same chicken? Or is it something similar maybe? Because it really looks the same. Let me set this over here. I want to take a look at the bottom of this and see what it says. Do you guys remember which chicken I'm talking about? <laughs> $20 here. If it is, the only thing I'm unsure about is if it had the bird on the top of the back like this one does. I would have to go back and look at it. Look at the footage. That is wild. If that is the same chicken. Got like a little USA display going on here. Look at this little picture with these little cups. $20 for the set. What is this here? Does it say something on the bottom? I don't see where it says anything on the bottom. There's the price tag again, $20 for the set. So you get the picture. And one, two, three, four, five cups with that. Some red napkins, red books. This looks like a chicken here. I think he is newer as well. Four dollars on that little chicken candle holder right there. So I wanted to go ahead and mention that I do have an Instagram. A lot of times I forget to mention that because it's not the first thing on my mind. But I do have an Instagram. It is Ohio Vintage Home. If you would like to give me a follow there, I would love to have you. I share pictures of home decor, but also pictures of our life so you can learn more about our family i share lots of pictures of our garden of my chickens so if you'd like to give me a follow over there i would love to have you that chair right there is neat and that green color 45. look at this paymaster ribbon writer that is really different What's the price on that? 35 Look at that. That is really cool. It's got the key and everything. Look at that. Can you see? I don't know if you can tell because there's nothing behind it. But that's it right there. And then we've got some neat frames here with photographs. $8 on that one. Frame says made in Korea. And then there's one here. And then look at this little one right here, August 25th, 1949. And it looks like we've got some cool ones in here too. Let's see. Oh, a little baby. A couple of friends there, or sisters. There's lots of them in here. There's like a photograph book right here. Look at this one. Look at her hair. Wow. Oh, what's this? 556 AAA. $8. I think I'm getting a glare. Wow. I may have to dig through these ones a little bit more. As of right now, I have two pictures that I purchased, and the first one here is the first platoon. And then I also got this one here that is the second platoon. Hope you can see that. And I just thought these were terrific. I know I'm not decorating for the 4th of July this year, but I thought they would be really awesome to have for next year. Maybe for my gallery wall up here. I haven't decided 100% for sure. But for right now, I just kind of have them in this box. I'm just going to show you a peek at that real quick. And I think they just look really nice sitting here. And Casey's dad is a veteran. So just really awesome to have those. I may definitely take a closer look at what we're go going on in here. And I like this wooden box right here. Isn't that neat how they have it displayed right there? There's lots of corks right there. Let's see. I hope this box is for sale. It's got a really cool look to it. I don't know. Let's see. 
All right, well, in the previous clip with the photographs, you probably saw this wooden box, which is my wooden item challenge. I thought this was a super cool box, has a lot of really neat designs on it, or patina, I should say, and I just really liked it. And I think it's the perfect size right now for our coffee table uh, is where I have it sitting. I do want to do something different with the coffee table or get a new one, but for right now, it works. And I just think this box looks really cute. And right now, what I have done is displayed all of my hymnals in there. I just I really like those and then I've kind of just hung an old pair of glasses over the side. Kept it really simple because we have lots of pets and uh, they get up here and want to play with anything I have here on the coffee table so that is where I have styled it for right now. The price on that box we were just looking at was $18. I had to kind of move on because there was a lady that was wanting to look at all the pictures in the box. So that is a big contender though for my wood piece. But look at this awesome outhouse they have here. They have $175 on it. It is super tall, has a tin roof, has this door on it right here that has a moon. They have the most unique pieces here. They really get the best pieces in. And then over here in the windows, they have a bunch of Crocs. This one is 65, you probably can't see, but it's got a big crack down through there. And then they've got several smaller Crocs just kind of lined up through here. This one here is 35 on that one. And then they have this shelf right here and they've got some blue mason jars. I have a pretty good collection of those so I don't think I'm going to pick any of those up today. Let's see what the price is though. There's that one. $3.50 is the price. And they have some cutting boards here. I think it's cute how they have these stacked up and the set of glasses kind of displayed on that right there. I think that looks cute. But I'm seeing this little piggy right here. And he is an actual glass, looks like a piggy bank. The slot on top, I don't know, $6. What does that say there on the bottom? Let's see. Oh, it's anchor hawking. $6 anchor hawking. It's like this pig, but I was thinking it was a bank because of the slot there on top. But I'm not really sure because there's nowhere for the money to come out so if you guys know what this is let me know down in the comments because I think that is a really neat little piece right here in this wooden crate on my bookshelf in the living room is where I have decided to put my little glass piggy I thought he looked really cute in here with my collection of like different bottles I have all different colors of them in there. And I just thought he looked really cute here. And I am trying to bring more of the farm in here to the living room. And I thought he was a really cute little touch. Here is a front look at that outhouse. And they have some stuff displayed in here. And they even have like a little wooden table in there. So you can see just how deep it goes back in there. It's just a really big piece. There's a little handle. I love it. I have absolutely no way to get it home. That's different, isn't it? Ooh, that is heavy. Now that has some pretty detailing. $10. Let's see if we can see any markings on this. What is that there on the front? Oh, Niagara Falls. Is that what that says? I think it is. J-R or J-P? I'm not sure, but that is a nice, pretty little vase. I love its petite little size. I love big baskets. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, not for sale. No. Bad trick. I would hold on to that basket, too. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of artwork here today. $2.50. Norman Rockwell, Country Peddler. It's like a print. 
Always checking out the baskets, looking for baskets to gather my eggs in because my chickens should start laying their eggs here come the end of June, which I'm really excited about. I will definitely do a dance when I see the first egg being laid. I already warned my son about that. <laughs> That's a pretty sized little basket. Don't see a price on it though, must have fallen off. Well, this one says specialty. 10, so I wonder if that's homemade or Royce Craft Baskets made in the heart of Ohio. Five, six, ninety-nine. I'm not seeing much at all here though in the way of baskets. A little basket right here. That one's kind of got a neat little look to it for a dollar. Be nice like maybe on a picnic table for a barbecue. Like silverware and stuff like that in it but we're gonna go ahead and move on because I don't see very much in the baskets today. We have some more wooden items here. Some shelves. A couple of bowls here. I'm not sure I'm feeling like any of these. Oh, what's this? Is this like a case for your Bible? Yeah, it's got like a little holder on it. $2. I'm not seeing much though that goes with my style of home decor necessarily. Look at this guy. $25 on that guy. Does he say something on the bottom? No? I don't see anything. A little peg rack here. 75 cents. That one is plastic. Don't know, I've necessarily seen a plastic one before. 50 cents for these flags. Well, I'm not, I'm probably not going to decorate for the fourth just because I still just really love all my chicken and farm decor that I have out. 50 cents for those straws. Useful though. Oddly enough, something practical I have been looking for is a strainer. And so I want to check this one out. It is 75 cents. Oh, it has some breaking right there. That's what I was kind of looking for to see. Looks like maybe it got melted in the dishwasher or something like that. There you go. You can see it a little bit better there. But yeah, I am looking for kind of a strainer like that, especially with all of the fruits and veggies that we're growing. What is uh, something that you guys are looking for thrifting right now? Do you have your heart set on something? Have you been looking for something for a long time or something new that you're looking for? Let me know down in the comments. I always love to hear about that. So guys, 75 cents. That's that little guy. I'm always, always looking for Santa mugs. I was so excited last week when I found the Santa mug for only 25 cents at that yard sale. You've cat to be kitten me right meow. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. How many times can you say that really fast? Well, this is cute. A little strawberry dish. Have it shawl division, W.S. George, shortcake, $5. It's a different little piece I've never seen before. I always look through over here because I'm always looking for vintage cat figurines. So I always take a look through these. Some cute little bears. Oh, look at this little dinosaur guy. Looks like somebody's project. 75 cents. He's cute though. Oh, I see a dog back here. Oh, but he's missing his foot. Do you see that? The dog is missing his foot right there. This right here is a little bit different. There is a flower frog in there. Somebody has put this over top of it. And then this kind of little white bowl on the bottom. 50 cents. They've kind of made their own unique flower frog there. This little guy here was Homer Laughlin, 50 cents. Yeah, let's 
They usually have some cute tins here. Oh, that one is cute. Totally getting Christmas vibes on that. The red on the top. And look, they're baking. Look at their little outfits and aprons. And they're kind of in red and green. Oh, look at the little kitty cat. It's got a red bow. Oh, yeah, candle, berries. That has to be Christmas. 75 cents. Appears to be vintage. No barcode or anything like that on the bottom. Up here on top of my hutch in the dining room is where I have my little Christmas tin. Now I probably won't leave it up here. I'll probably put it with my Christmas decor and then bring it back out then. But I wanted to show you how I plan to use it. And come Christmas, I may use it in a little vignette. But I like collecting these tins now and putting them up on top of my hutch because the space up here between the top of the hutch and the ceiling is pretty low and these tins really work out well up here. And then I came back as well to look at the chicken and then I realized it has some chipping down here at the bottom. So I am going to go ahead and decide to leave that one. I'm in the cookbook section now and I'm just kind of scanning to see if I can see anything that I think will look pretty in my book corral in the kitchen. Yep, I already have that one right there. <laughs> What's this, the best of country cooking? I like that the green and white check it looks nice next to that one doesn't it and I do already have that one here's the best of country cooking 2000 oh and this one's 2004 I see this one looks to be like of a lighter green color here's a brown one mmm I might go with brown my beautiful new cookbook has made its way into my book corral where I am collecting them. And I think it looks really nice because these two were kind of green on the side. Now this one here brings out the brown. And of course I like the gingham check for the country simple feel. Now I think I am going to try to find a red cookbook for this or maybe add in one of my better homes and garden cookbooks and really bring in that red over here. So I think it looks really pretty right there and adds that little touch of brown. Go ahead and put that in my cart. I almost missed this guy right here because he is back here in an odd spot. Like some stationery and then back behind me are some books. So I'm not really sure if somebody just decided not to get him. But this is really neat for only $15. This gas can. And these are normally extremely expensive. At least I think it's a gas can. That's what it looks like with this and this. These are normally pretty expensive. Um, so I'm thinking I may go ahead and pick this up. I really like the patina on the side and I am trying to bring in some reds for the farm look. Now down here at the bottom is where I have put my gas can and I know that's not a great styling for you, but I am still in a work in progress mode in here in the living room of bringing the farm and everything in. So that is what I have down there right now. It is a good size for that spot of the bookshelf because it fills it in really well. So stay tuned for more of my videos and see kind of how this all comes together. But I do like how it looks down there with my older ladder just kind of displayed here on the side. I've said this before, my Decorating style is pretty vintage farmhouse, eclectic, and whimsical. I really just like to have pieces in my home that when they are around me, I just feel comfortable and happy. And it's just kind of really simple. I just surround myself with things that I really, really enjoy. And then I came back as well to look at the chicken. And then I realized it has some chipping down here at the bottom. So I am going to go ahead and decide to leave that one. You guys probably know by now I like to add in a few surprises for you. And so I wanted to add in this little bonus right here. My friend Jennifer sent this to me, this little chicken platter. It's cream and green and so beautiful. And I have it kind of tacked up there on top of my mug rack. And I just think it looks so cute up there. And then coming over here to my shelves, I have the most amazing 
scale that I found. Isn't it fabulous? Um, there was an antique booth that was going out of business in one of the stores I go to and I got this scale for $18 and it is fabulous. And lastly, amazing family, I need your help on this one. I am putting my dough bowl on my long farmhouse table. I think it really fills in that space and looks really nice. And I have moved my watering can over to here, but I need your help with what I can put in this dough ball. Remember, I do have kitties and they don't always behave, right? Kitties do what they want and they are sometimes on the table. So what suggestions do you have that I can put in this amazing dough bowl up here on the top of my dining table i would really appreciate any help okay i hope that you will go ahead and watch the video on your screen right now i found some awesome things last week yard sailing thank you all so much for being here for watching this video and commenting i love you and i thank you for everything take care